So now in this video, we're gonna take the uh, voltage from a signal source. So this is a trim pot. We're working with nine volts at the supply. We can go from zero volts up to nine volts, but we cannot power a load directly with that voltage because the trim pot is resistance based. There's a lot of resistance, which means the load would just divide it down even further. But uh, instead, we are using the signal. This is an LM358 op amp wired as a voltage follower. So we're sending that to the non-inverting input. The output is connected directly to the inverted input there. So ultimately, it will raise the voltage or lower it as needed to meet the voltage that we set at the non-inverting input. So there you can see the schematic. We got the feedback. Whenever uh, this voltage, the plus voltage is higher than the minus voltage, the output voltage rises. Once they equal, it stops. And then uh, if the voltage at the plus is lower, than the voltage at the minus, then the voltage drops at the output until they equalize. Um, so they just actually line up together at the same time if you looked at it with an oscilloscope. And then we have an output load with the LED just for a visual effect. So we will uh, come back here. Of course the output has, uh, since it's an LM358, it follows a volt and a half short of the positive supply, but it can go down to uh, ground. It can go down to zero volts. So we looked at that in earlier videos, um, but for now, we're gonna look at the signal voltage we're given from the trim pot. And uh, there we go, uh, 3.29, and at the output, uh, 3.29. Not 100% the same, but very close to 100% the same. And I'm gonna set the voltage up about uh, two thirds of the way to nine volts, so somewhere about six, approximately. There we go, not too bad, 6.07. And you can see, even though we're powering the LED, it's basically the exact same voltage, just a spec uh, difference. As I said before though, since it's an LM358, um, it can provide you know enough power to light an LED, actually not much more than that, enough current I should say. But uh, if we set it to uh, nine volts, whether we're providing power or not, about seven and a half volts is as high as we'll go. Looks like 7.2. That's because the op amp has some transistors for the output that means it can't get to the positive supply. It falls about a volt and a half short, approximately. So you gotta make sure you work within that limitations. Make sure you're done. Uh, when you're done, you turn off the multimeter. 